What's up guys, it's Bronley over at Empire Barbell. Today we're gonna to go over how to breathe and brace during a deadlift. Real quick, uh, go ahead and hit the link at the bottom and there's a free 50 page ebook on breathing and bracing. It covers in depth, not just what I recommend, but it lets you know why I recommend it. So I have my own experience along with all the people I train and I've pulled from some very valuable resources I've come across over the years. People much more intelligent than me. Uh, and it all comes together in one big grand unified theory of how the hell your spine works. So like I said, free 50 page ebook, okay? Click the link, follow it. Now if you watch the squat video on how to breathe and brace, then you've got a lot of the basics already. There isn't that much different with a deadlift other than the fact that you have to set up at the bottom and you have to hinge instead of squat. So just getting those two movement patterns down is gonna be crucial because your body's gonna be having a brace while moving in a slightly different way. So to give you a quick recap, Posture's first, bracing second, the breath is last, okay? Good posture is gonna involve hips neutral, so squeezing your glutes, and spine neutral, which means bringing your ribs down, keeping your abs tight. With the deadlift, part of creating stability in the upper back is pinching your shoulder blades down. You don't wanna think back, you wanna think down. You're trying to tuck your lats into your obliques, and then your obliques are gonna lock down into your hips. I like to give the briefcase analogy. Think of your torso as a briefcase, okay, your ribs, have that latch that latches it shut, okay? So you wanna take your ribs and you wanna latch it down into your hips. So the key is to be able to do that from the bottom position so you can set up, follow all of those cues without losing integrity in your spine. Now what most of you do is just take a deep breath and shove your belly out. Now we've already covered why that's wrong. When I take a deep breath and push the belly out, it forces me into a slight arch in my lower back. That's gonna cause my glutes and hamstrings to stretch as long as my abdominals with my flared ribs so aside from violating the soda can analogy, right, that puts a dent in the can by causing you to arch, that also lengthens the main movers. A shorter muscle is always a stronger muscle. An overarched back is almost just as bad as a rounded back when it comes to deadlift efficiency. So if I'm approaching the barbell, I'll start with my quads, my glutes, and then my abs, right? So now I'm neutral. I feel tight through my legs, through my hips, and through my spine. From here, I'll move into a hinge, keeping the glutes tight. That's the hard thing for most of you. Keeping the glutes tight and pointed down, I'm going to hinge into the bar. Think about these muscles staying shortened and pointed down. Once I get to the bar, I'm gonna worry about bracing. I'm gonna pull my abdominals in, I'm gonna lock my obliques and lats in, and then I'm gonna breathe into my braced abs. The last thing I do before I pull is take that breath and flex my abs as if I'm about to get hit with a cannonball. And from there, I'll stand up. I prefer not to rush the deadlift. You wanna take your time. You want your setup to be good. You wanna make sure you're braced properly. There should be no flaws. And if you have to rush the pull, you're opening yourself up for disaster. So remember, posture, get to the bar, brace, and then take your breath. So following those cues, posture, okay, glutes tight, ribs down, Hinging to the bar, keeping my glutes down. From right here, I'm going to brace, pulling my abs in, locking my lats and obliques down, and then I'm gonna breathe into those tight abs. Once I'm completely tight, I'm gonna pull. Now that's great if all we're doing are singles the rest of our lives, but if you're a smart trainee, you're gonna have some reps thrown in there. So how to time your breathing is just as big. There's two places you can get a breath on a deadlift rep set either at the top of the lift or at the bottom. If you're just figuring out how to brace, I recommend resetting and getting your air at the bottom every single time. If you're a little more comfortable with it, or if you're doing touch and go reps, you're gonna wanna get your breath at the top. So getting a breath at the top looks like this, okay? Posture, hinge, brace, deep breath, pull. Now, to work your setup at the bottom a little bit more deliberately, I recommend resetting at the bottom, going through all of the steps, taking a breath, and then pulling. You're not gonna be able to pull through as quickly, so for something like a set of eight or 10 reps, that's probably not a great idea. But if you're working anywhere between two and six reps, it's a great opportunity to get comfortable with how your abdominals brace and how you breathe into those braced abs at the start of the deadlift. Remember, every set of deadlift starts from a dead stop. So the more practice you get at that position, the better off you're gonna be.